Hey, welcome back to the channel. This week, our friends over at Nova 3D sent me this tough washable resin. Ran a calibration test to make sure that the settings were correct on my printer. And then I printed myself a little engine here and uh, enjoy the journey. So one of the things that you can do to optimize your printer is to load up a print configurator. And what this is, is it's basically a tiny torture test for your printer. I'm zooming way in here because in small details to capture when you uh, run your printer. And if you have your settings right, then all of these little things will print. Okay, like I said, this thing is small. So let's take a close look at it. The instruction manual says that these blocks should be evenly spaced, which they appear to be. You can read the numbers here, and then each one of the numbers has a slot, and then a corresponding uh, piece down here. It also said that this cross needed to print, as well as this coming to a point, which we can zoom in quite a bit to see that, that did come to a point. Across the top, we have the tiny posts that go into infinity. This H is sunken in, which is supposed to be. The circle printed. All of the, the texture in the, the buildings here. The word Amerilabs, the texture here. See the pie chart here, how it goes down, 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 down. And then these tiny posts um, I think I knocked some of those down when I was drying it off with a uh, ear gun. So that's why they're kind of laying down. But, man. Alright, so now that we have a good baseline, let's print something interesting. So this is a black box file street buggy, and I'm going to print the whole engine for it. So I'll drag all the pieces over to the slicer. And let's take a look at them. Zoom right in here. Yeah, so we got some really high detail pieces here. And we'll arrange them for we'll arrange them for best print. So the fan here, let's rotate it. We got some detail in the back, but nothing on this side. So I'm going to say that this side comes out. We'll put it at a at an angle, and we'll see how it supports. We have a uh, distributor with four holes in it and a coil. Rotate it a little bit so that it's on its side just a bit. We've got, uh, looks like a wheel filter. Let's stand that up and put it at a slight angle. Move it out of the way. We got some pipes here. Now, I imagine the pipes, the visible part is going to probably be this side. So let's angle it and then we'll rotate it just a little bit to zoom out and check for, for level. All right, so this looks like a pretty good angle here. This might not work. Let's put a more angle on it. All right, so we've got a nice angle there, nice angle there. 
Yeah, everything seems to be at an angle. Yeah, that looks good. All right, engine block. We want uh, the detail to be on top. All of this, uh, all of this fin stuff, we want that on the top. We don't want it to get lost in the pimples and stuff. And then we'll rotate it at an angle. Take a look at it. Okay, I think, yeah, that's the back of it, so that's that's good. Front of it will be the detail, the pretty side. For a long, thin piece like this, we're just going to put it at an angle. Uh, the cone filter, we'll put that uh, just at an angle like this. Looks like we got, uh, let's move that out of the way. Got a tube. Now the, the top here will be flat. So let's rotate it like this and maybe like this. I'm guessing here, but that way it's, there's no right angles except for this top, top here. No worries. Um, carburetors. Let's do like that. And then like this. Yeah. And we'll do the same one, same thing for this one. so that it's not Get this thing out of the way. And then I think let's see what's the pretty side. Let's let's keep the pretty side up. What's this. All right, so we have a uh, detail side It's turning red because it's in the way of this, but I just want to get it. Let's get it out of the way. All right, so either side could be the, the detail side for that. We'll just leave that. What else do we got in here? have all right so that's the detail side forgive me again Looks like a good angle for that. A turbocharger. This is probably the bottom. So let's put it up just a little bit and then rotate it like this. And then transmission. We're going to rotate it this way and give it a little bit of a tilt. All right, I think I've done every piece. Let's look. Yeah, yeah I've, I've uh, manipulated each piece. Let's select them all and then do an auto layout. 
to uh, figure out the best way to put them here. All right, so it laid them out for us. We'll go to supports, make sure that it lifted everything off of the build plate, which it did not. See, this is not off the build plate. So let's go back and do it again. All right, now everything. See, everything is off the build plate now. And we will go light. I'm liking um, the tip diameter of 0 0.02 these days. It uh, makes for a nice skinny support. Um, no raft, touch distance 3.7, and let's auto support it. All right, so now we're gonna look at each piece real close to see where the things are gonna to touch. All right, so on the back of the fan here, looks good. This looks properly supported. It's got the back of it, and then all the, the pretty parts, the, the nice side is all gonna be really nice. The uh, carburetor here looks good. Our distributor, it looks like it's kind of weak. It's got one here and one here. Let's add one more support. Oops, let me unselect everything here. Select just that. And I'm going to add another support. just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So that's a fragile part. And we'll put them low. All right, I think that's good. Go back. All right, our turbo system has got quite a bit of supports on it. I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see. Uh, this looks pretty good. Lots of support on the bottom and then a couple on the top. Yeah, looks good. Again, piping seems to be well supported. Let's move this around. We have uh, wheel filter here. Looks like it has plenty of supports on it. This looks good as well. This has this uh, long thin piece has enough supports on it to hold it in place. And our engine block just has a lot of supports on it. But it's on the back side so I think it's okay. As long as it's not As long as it's not going to be in this finned area, that's what I'm worried about. Okay, well I'm pretty happy with this. Let's uh, let's slice it. Let's check our settings first. Now, since I ran the test, I did decrease the bottom exposure time from 30 seconds to 25 seconds. And that's going to uh, make it a little easier to get off the, the plate. It was tough to get that piece off of the plate. I'm going to go with a layer height of 0 0.03 for nice detail. And exposure time, I'm going to leave it the same at 2.4 because I'm pretty happy with the from the test. So I'll apply that and we'll slice it. And this just take, takes a minute. And it says it's going to take three hours and three minutes and 39 seconds. So we'll save it to our desktop. And we'll call this VW Engine.
So I really enjoyed using this Nova 3D resin. Um, they sent it to me for free, but um, this is my honest opinion. Um, I wish it wasn't gray. I wish it was a different color, but you know, no big deal. I do enjoy that um, I printed the supports at 0 .020 and they came off super easy, super easy. Um, there was no, you know, pitting or pop marks or anything, no pimples. Um, I was able to wash it with water and um, it sort of has a semi-gloss um, sheen to it. So it's not like a dead flat. Um, it is just a little bit flexible, which, which I like that because, you know, when you saw me putting the pipes on and stuff, you can move it around a little bit. It's not going to snap. I sincerely think that if I drop this, it's not going to break. So I can honestly say I recommend this resin. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt, hit the subscribe button, and watch the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.